My name is Ezekiel A. Green. We're at Morale School of Medicine and Dr. Paul's lab. I am an undergraduate research assistant for the summer. I primarily work on sleep scoring, and I have to differentiate between different cycles of sleep, different stages. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, like from right down the street, actually. I've always been really into science. When I was a kid, I used to have a rock collection. I used to be really, really into that. My dad gave me a, um, a tumbler, like a rock tumbler where you put like some stones in and you just let it go for a while. I used to go to rock conferences and stuff, and so like, I got pretty into it. I want to become a, a lab researcher. So eventually I want to get my PhD and basically do what Dr. Paul's doing right now. My primary interest is uh, like mental health disorders. I found out I, I had bipolar disorder. And in, that, in finding that, I also found out that there's a, lar a, a long history of that in my family, um, on my dad's side primarily. And so once I found that out, and I knew I already had an inclination towards studying what looked like neuroscience, I was like, okay, this is, this is like what I need to do in my life. So it's been like, I just, I kind of found exactly what I want to go into now, which is pretty nice. Um, sleep is just like, I didn't, I didn't really understand, like I didn't really see it at first, but working and talking to these guys over the summer, sleep is a huge, huge question. And it really starts off with why do we go to sleep? Yeah. It's kind of funny that people still don't know the answer to that. And so just being in the lab and just talking with them about different papers and, and just what the whole area of sleep studies looks like has just been pretty enlightening for me. The thing is that most of the time it was messing up was when it was, when it was wake. It's kind of a cloudy field right now, but they're trying to figure out that what that looks like when someone hasn't gone to sleep in a while and they you know, just crash out. I really like Dr. Paul's lab because it's, it has this sense of flexibility Everyone's really into whatever they're doing. Like I like when people get excited about what they do. So I'm I'm excited. I know that definitely I'll be on a paper. And so that's really what that's like the as far as first step, I know that's like the first thing I want to do is just get my name on just get my name with a little asterisk next to it that says, you know, where I'll go to school. But for me an exciting day is just learning more. We're broken. When you're working for like weeks on end on a project and you finally get the results that you've been looking for and it looks nice and looks pretty and you're like, oh, okay, good, we got it. And health, I think, is the most important thing for anybody. Like, that's why I think, you know, this, this type of stuff is really helpful because any paper that comes out of that lab is gonna probably eventually help someone get healthier. If something's not your passion, then it's really hard to do it. First, find what you're passionate about, what you wanna do, and then try to find out what is the most effective way for you to do that.